What's up everybody? Welcome back. Moving on with function notation. We have somewhat of a word problem here. So if f of x is x squared minus 1 and g of x is 5 minus 2x, we have to determine the value or values for m where f of 2m is equal to g of 5m. So this question is a little bit unique. Haven't done one like this yet, but it's not too bad. So basically, we're solving for m, right, that constant m, where f of 2m is equal to g of 5m. So what you want to do here is you want to plug in an expression on the left side, f of 2m, using this function you're given for f of x. And then here, you want to plug in an expression for g of 5m using this expression you're given for g of x. So f of x is x squared minus 1. So that means f of 2m, we're going to plug in 2m for x, and that's going to be in brackets. So we're going to have 2m squared minus 1. So we could plug in this expression for f of 2m here. So we'd have 2m squared minus 1, like that. And then g of x, we're given as 5 minus 2x. So that means g of 5m, we would plug in 5m for this x value, again, in brackets. So 5 minus 2 times 5m. Like that. Right? And now notice we just have an equation to solve. So 2m squared, we'd have to distribute the exponent to all the expressions. So 2 squared is 4, and then m squared is just m squared. And we'd have minus 1. This is going to equal 5. Minus 2 times 5m is negative 10m. Right, and now we can bring everything over to one side. So let's bring both of these over to the left side. So we'd have 4m squared. Negative 10m comes over. That becomes positive 10m. Positive 5 comes over, becomes negative 5, so negative 1 minus 5 gives us negative 6. That's going to equal 0. Notice this is a quadratic equation here. So you could plug it into the quadratic formula if you want. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Right. So the a value is 4, the b value is 10, the c value is negative 6. Or you could try to factor it. And I think this actually factors smoothly. So you could take out a 2 from everything. So you'd be left with 2m squared plus 5m minus 3. Right? If I'm taking out a 2, I'm just dividing everything by 2. And then this here, you can factor by decomposition. Uh, I think this factors into 2m minus 1 and then m plus. Right. Again, I'm not going to go over the details right now of how to factor. You may have to go review that, but we're going to be going over that in uh, Chapter 3 when we're dealing with quadratics. But um, yeah, this seems right, because if I FOIL this out, I should get this answer. So from here, we can tell, continuing this here, 2m minus 1 is equal to 0, and that's going to happen when 2m is equal to 1, when m is equal to 1 half, or m plus 3 equals 0. That's going to happen when m is equal to negative 3. So those are your two answers for m. m can be 1 half or m can be negative 3. And um, if you actually plug in 1 half here, 2 times a half is just 1. So basically, f of 1 should equal 1 half times 5 is uh, 2.5, so g of 2.5. So if you plug in 1 here for x, you'd have 1 squared minus 1, which is 0. And then if you plug in 2.5 for x here, you have 5 minus 2 times 2.5, which is 0 as well. So the left side equals the right side. And you could do the same thing with an m value of negative 3. So you'd have f of negative 6 here. Here you'd have g of negative 15. You could plug both of those in, and then both sides should equal. So that's a way to check your answer. But nevertheless, those are your final answers.